Tuesday. Welcome to the Now, I'm Ashley. I'm Ben. It's time for a new month. That means Xbox Live, PlayStation Plus, and Twitch Prime all offering subscribers free games so that you never, ever want to leave them. Please, please don't leave. Uh, there's a pretty good variety of games overall this month, so regardless of what you're into, it's probably something you'll like. Yeah, we're gonna run you through each of the games on offer so you know what you might be interested in. And let's not waste any time, let's jump right in. All right, let's kick things off with PlayStation Plus. These games will be available starting September 4th, with the exception of the first entry, Destiny 2. Now, if you've never played Destiny 2, it's a sci-fi class-based shooter action game that lets you pop between different open areas to deal with several alien menaces threatening the solar system. There's a single player campaign and it's worth playing, but the real meat of the game is when you team up with your other players to go on raids or battle in the Crucible. And as you defeat enemies, complete missions, level up and progress through different factions, you unlock new weapons and gear. Not a bad experience with a price tag of free. Nope, not too bad. <laughs> Right, and all of this will lead towards the release of the game's new expansion, Forsaken, which will add new regions, maps, weapons, gear, abilities, modes, story content, it's a huge drop. And uh, it's not included in the free version, so big asterisk there. Basically, they want you to try Destiny 2 so that then maybe you'll want to get in on this Forsaken action. You'll also be able to get the remastered version of God of War 3 starting September 4th. Uh, this game capped off the original trilogy. You play Kratos, who's on a mission to destroy Zeus and anyone who stands in his way. If you've been playing this year's God of War, the original trilogy's Kratos may take you a little bit by surprise, whereas the new God of War story is very much about the bond between father and son. The original is all about, you know, patricide. Originally, God of War 3 came out in 2010, but this remaster followed for PlayStation 4 in 2015 to celebrate the franchise's 10th anniversary. The remaster includes the full game, all the DLC, plus support for 1080p, 60 frames per second. Definitely worth a look if you just jumped into the franchise with the new entry and you have a kind of curiosity to see where Kratos came from. Not bad if you want to jump into a prequel for the new God of War. It's kind of weird to see him without a beard after you get used to him in the new one. Oh yeah, I'm used to the boy God of War now, but you know. Uh, here's a bit of a throwback. Originally released for Amiga and Atari ST, Another World was a 1991 platformer action game that follows a scientist named Lester, who ends up fighting to escape and survive on an alien world after an experiment with his particle accelerator goes very, very wrong. Very wrong. Since its original release, the game's appeared on a ton of different platforms, become an influence for games like Eco, Metal Gear Solid, Silent Hill, and in 2011 got a 20th anniversary edition, which made its way to PS4 in 2014. It's also a cross-buy between PS3, PS4, and PS Vita. And Cube, with a Q, or a quick understanding of block extrusion for long, is an indie shooter that initially released in 2011. It built on the foundations of a student project, and it calls on players to manipulate blocks to navigate successfully through levels. The director's cut that's part of PlayStation Plus came out in 2015 and adds new story elements, voice acting, speedrun trials, new music, Gameplay-wise, it's pretty intuitive. The world's largely monochromatic, but interactive blocks are color-coded depending on how they can be changed. The challenge ramps up as you progress, starts adding additional elements like working in the dark or directing beams of light. It's frequently been compared to another former student project, Portal, and you know, since Valve hasn't shown a whole lot of interest in giving us more of that one, you could maybe kind of at least scratch that itch with Cube. Uh, Cube is out for PS3, but it's a cross-buy on PS4. Hmm, interesting. And a bit of a throwback to games like Zuma, or at least that's the game I immediately can't help but compare it to. Also uh, Luxor, I think. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Sparkle 2 is an orb color matching game that initially came out in 2015. Orbs travel along a track, and it's up to you to match the orbs up into groups of three to make them vanish and keep the line from reaching the end of the board. It's a pretty simplistic concept, but the challenge ramps up as you progress. The music has also been pretty well received. It's kind of hypnotic. It's a great game to pick up and put down, and the different power-ups add some fun variety. Sparkle 2 is on PSV, and is crossed by with PS3 and PS4. Foul Play is an action-adventure brawler game that initially came out in 2013 but made its way to PS4 in 2015. In that game, you take Baron Dashforth, the Daemon Hunter, and his sidekick Scampwick through side-scrolling co-op stages, but there's kind of a unique twist here. The stages are all performed on an actual stage in a theater, and you use different actions to then please the theater-going audience who's watching. Interesting. Yeah, Foul Play <laughs> is on Vita. It's also crossed by with PlayStation 4. Here They Lie is a PlayStation VR psychological horror title that challenges you to explore a city populated by malevolent creatures and make moral choices that have life or death consequences, as you try to solve the mystery of the woman in yellow. This game was one of the launch titles for PSVR when it launched in 2016 and received mixed reviews, but if you're looking for a VR title to check out and, you know, like survival horror and <laughs> missed it this time around, go check it out. If you like scary games, I will give it a skip. Uh, finally, in the vein of the Jackbox Party Pack games that ask you to bring a smartphone to the 
game instead of a controller, knowledge is power. The game supports up to six players. It throws a bunch of themed trivia questions at you, which you answer as quickly as possible to progress with the uh, idea being the Pyramid Summit. You wanna be the first one to get to that end goal. The games include touchscreen challenges. You can make player alliances. Mm. There are power-ups and penalties you can throw out there to cause some extra mayhem. Basically, think of this as a party game that's designed to be accessible even for people who generally find controllers to be intimidating, a la your family, real good for something like Thanksgiving, which is coming up in a couple months, so worth picking up. It's yeah. fun, it's different if you've run through all the Jackbox stuff. Worth picking up for free, for sure. I actually kind of like the games where everyone's like on their smartphone and get real mad at each other. Sounds great <laughs> if you have people together to uh, grill for Labor Day weekend and then a uh, bunch of friends to uh, jump on your smartphones. And it is indeed Labor Day weekend. Mm, yep, so that's what PlayStation has on offer for the month. Now let's look at Xbox. As per usual, these have some staggered dates that are worth paying attention to, so we'll call each of them out for you. Now, if you're into sim and system building games, you may already be familiar with Prison Architect, if not, the game is a top-down construction and management simulation in which you're responsible for juggling building tasks like cell construction and facilities, hiring and managing staff, managing the prison finances. The game actually started as a crowdfunding project in 2012, but then officially launched in 2015. This one's available on Xbox One from September 1st to September 30th. Xbox One's other game for the month is Livelock, a cooperative top-down shooter. You can play the game solo or with up to two other players. There are three different types of chassis you can use, Hex, Vanguard, or Catalyst, and you'll get access to class-based skills depending on how you want to play. There's a story mode in which you explore a post-cataclysmic world and you try to revive humanity, and also a survival mode that generates wave after wave of enemies for you and your friends to tackle. This one will be free on Xbox One from September 16th to October 15th. Now, if you're still on the Xbox 360 train, the first game with gold for September is LEGO Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars. Have you ever seen any of the LEGO Star Wars games? You have an idea what to expect already. This one is based on the Clone Wars animated series, but also features characters from the original saga, specifically those around the Clone Wars era. Makes sense. Up to two players can play together to tackle various levels, command armies, which is cool, battle in space, also cool, defeat big bosses. Uh, like the other LEGO games, it's aggressively family friendly, good to play with kids. Uh, it's a really good co op experience. All the LEGO games are really. This one is free on Xbox 360 from September 1st to September 30th. And Sega Vintage Collection Monster World rounds out the Xbox offerings for the month. It's a bundle of three games in the Wonder Boy series, Wonder Boy in Monster Land, Wonder Boy in Monster World, and Monster World 4. One interesting note, this marks the first time Monster World 4 has officially been translated into English. Yeah, it was released otherwise in English, but this is like the first official translation. Kind of weird. That's cool, uh, but that one is kind of a little niche. And it's aimed at players who particularly enjoy side-scrolling action RPGs, and Monster World 4 is the standout of the group. So it's worth taking a look if those descriptors all sound like they, you know, hit the games you want to play. <laughs> this collection comes free on Xbox 360 from September 16th through October 15th. So that rounds out the Xbox offerings for the month. Time to finish it up with Twitch Prime's offerings. One note before we do, as per usual, Twitch's process is a little different than Xbox or PlayStation. To redeem the Twitch deals, you need to log in on Twitch, click the crown icon in the top right corner of your browser, and you'll be able to find and install all the games from there. Now, all these games are available now through September 30th. Cool, on to the deals. All right, the Adventure Pals is an adventure platformer starring you and your awesome pet giraffe. Ooh. You're on a mission to save your father who's been kidnapped by Mr. B and is in danger of becoming a meaty fast food snack. No! Yeah, right, no, that's a bad thing to happen to your dad. Uh, you and your giraffe can uncover secrets, take to the skies, because apparently giraffe tongues make really great helicopters. Why not? Battle zombie pirates and evil trees, defeat your own evil clone, and battle breakfast food bosses. Delicious. I'm in. Yeah, it sounds kind of crazy, kind of weird because, well, it is, but it's also got a pretty charming art style, really embraces the imagination of a young kid. It's very much like the power of make-believe, but sounds adorable Sounds like a crazy draft, but awesome. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, Guild of Dungeoneering is a turn-based dungeon controller. That's all pretty standard, nothing crazy there, except you aren't controlling the hero, you're controlling the dungeon. You use cards to lay down rooms, monsters, traps, and loot, while the hero makes his own choices in the dungeon you're building. Ultimately, your goal is to coax your heroes indirectly through your dungeons and restore your hero's guild to its former glory. The graphic style is pretty charming and embraces the whole dungeon master aesthetic with grid paper drawings and doodly elements. Definitely worth a look, just even for the fun of it. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a really fun concept. I like this Sounds one. Sounds cool. I, I feel like there's a lot of dungeon masters like in this room, Aaron, who yeah. could have a lot of fun with this one. 
Gunpoint is a stealth puzzle game in which you play a freelance spy who breaks into high security buildings and steals sensitive information for clients. You can use your crosslink gadget, which is really like the main thing for this game. It's the thing that makes it unique uh, to rewire levels, to trick guards into trapping themselves, trap them yourself if you want to. Uh, you can complete 20 different missions that unravel a cool noir inspired story, or you can skip all the story stuff if you want to. If you want to play quick and dirty, you can just Remember that everyone in the game can be killed in a single shot, including you. Uh, alternately, you can go stealth, trick and kill everyone, lie to your clients, buy new gadgets to adjust your capabilities. Overall, the idea of the game is to let you make choices about what kind of spy you want to be. Hmm. Well, here's a throwback for you. Strife was hailed as the original FPS RPG, and it's back, baby. Oh boy. The game takes place in a world controlled by The Order, a religious group you're trying to topple. In addition to the usual FPS gameplay, you'll find back in ye old of 1996, <laughs> you can improve attributes like accuracy and stamina, and instead of a linear progression of levels, there's a hub area called Tarnhill, and you can travel around to different areas via the hub town. The original Strife includes content that was missing or unfinished in the original game, adds supports for high resolutions and wide screens, and lets you rebind inputs and add some dynamic lighting and bloom to touch up the graphics a bit. Finally, the last game from Twitch for the month is Pumped BMX Plus. The name maybe gives it away a little bit, but believe it or not, this is a BMX game. Ooh. Your mission is to navigate through increasingly difficult levels while executing tricks and combos to complete more than 500 different challenges. There are different environments to keep things feeling fresh from dirt tracks to complex loops and leaps. The art style, it's really fun, very cartoony, very charming, a little bit simplistic maybe. Uh, the gameplay is difficult, but satisfying. A lot of fun. Uh, that game has been received very, very well for the most part. So that about does it for the games you can score for free if you've got Xbox Live Gold, PlayStation Plus, or Twitch Prime in September. What are you gonna pick up? Let us know in the comments. And for more freebies, game news, and more, make sure that you like this video and that you subscribe to the now. Free games. We did it. Woo. We did it. I'm gonna also, check out that Dungeon Master one. Also buy one of my shirts. They're in the Rooster Teeth store. They're all super awesome. I love these shirts. I'm I actually so may go buy one right now. Yes. There's a pretty good variety of games overall this month too, so it's kind of exciting. Lots of fun stuff. Yeah, no one can say no to free games. So we're gonna win you. Eh. <laughs> <laughs>